because of interest, I've decided to create a little video on how to use ImageJ to measure the angles and lengths on a bevel of a knife. Uh, you could use any photo captured with any camera, or you can use a microscope. Uh, that's the added value to using ImageJ, is it doesn't matter uh, how you get the image, as long as you have a clear image, and in the image you place an object like a ruler that has a known uh, length. So you can then calibrate the ImageJ software to allow you to measure objects. So the first we, thing we need to do is we need to open up a new object, and I think I put it, let me see, okay, so you can drag and drop, so I, I took a photo, which is right here, of my mold impression using the thermoplastic. Inside the photo, you can see that I have a ruler placed here. And this, from this line to this line, is one centimeter, and each division in between is a millimeter. So this is a, these are known distances. The software will calculate any distance that you draw once you have calibrated it to a known distance. So the way we do that is we click on the Analyze button, and we click on Set Scale, and right here, what it does is right now I didn't choose any lines. I didn't put any lines on the photo. So it's thinking that I'm looking at a zero pixel distance. Uh, this is where I'm going to put my known distance. And then it's automatic. It's going to put the length, the unit of length, which will be millimeters, and it will automatically calculate. So let's go back. And I know that from this, and I'm going to zoom in so I can see this. And this is the power that ImageJ gives us. I know from the bottom of here to the top of the next line is one millimeter. So I put my line there, I choose analyze, I choose set scale, and here it's telling me that this distance here is 175.479 pixels. But I know from the scale that's on the in the, the ruler that that's one millimeter. And I'm going to choose OK. And I'm going to choose this global so it does for all layers. And hit OK. Now, my tools are all calibrated. And I know that because I can now draw a line from here to the base of this millimeter. And what you'll see at the top of the screen up there was it's now two millimeters from that point to that point. And watch this here at the top. It's kind of hard for me to do both. But I'm going to draw a line, and as I draw the line, you'll see how it measures from there all the way to there is three millimeters. So now it measures everything in between and everything to the, to the extreme on this ruler. But that's not the focus of our attention. The focus of our attention, now that it's calibrated, is actually the impression of a blade edge in the thermoplastic. So I'm going to zoom in on the impression now that this image is calibrated to that ruler. And I will start drawing my distances here. Now there's a couple other things that we can do. And you want to be able to save your measurements. Because this is pretty much just a measurement and counting tool uh, for ImageJ. This was called ImageJ. And it's an image processing software, so it's very powerful. It's even more powerful, than, in my opinion, than the Dino Capture 2.0. But it, it's a little more... Um, it's not nearly as intuitive as Dino Capture software. So the first thing I want to do is I want to measure, which is our primary focus, the bevel edge. So I'm going to click on this angle, and I can kind of see here that there's a shoulder here, and there's a shoulder about right there. So I'm going to click once, draw this line on the inside, because remember that the metal was on the inside of this impression. And I'm going to go to the tip. And then I'm going to come all the way down here. And if you notice at the top of the screen already, it says 24.96. And I'm going to go to this shoulder here, 25. So I'm, I'm about a 25 degree angle uh, on my, my bevel here. And that's my first measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the M, M button. And what it's going to do is it's going to populate 
this table with measurements. So I know that's my first measurement. I've got 25 degrees. Now I want to measure the distance behind that angle, that bevel, from bevel to bevel, uh, edge, here to here. Oh. I don't want to select. There we go. From there to there. Okay. And I know that that length is 0 0.90. So I'm going to hit M on the keyboard. And what you'll see, I moved it a little bit, is that the, that length is now there. So I'll, now I also want to measure what is this angle here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that tool again. I'm going to choose the inside here. I don't want to get too close to this, this radius here. I want to stay on the inside because that's the impression. The rest of it was just... Uh, where the thermoplastic wasn't touching uh, the blade edge. So I'm going to come out here on the inside of that line and you can see now where the shoulders are a little bit clearer. And I'm going to draw out clear out way out to here. And we may need to go a little bit further than that. So I'm going to zoom up a little bit. And then I'm going to come back down over here. And what you see is you're looking at a 10 degree angle is what I've produced there to, to, to draw those straight lines. Okay, So that's what my blade edge possibly was prior to sharpening from the blade face. Okay, And I'm going to hit M and what that's going to do is add that measurement in angles there. Now what's different about ImageJ is it's very difficult to change all the colors using this format that you're seeing here. But you can do a process called ROI Manager. And you will find that, let's see if I can find it, Add to Manager. You can add it to this ROI Manager. And in the ROI Manager, you can rename your object. So this was blade face angle okay it'll change it you can also go to, into the properties and right now it's yellow I want to make it red okay now the line is red and we're going to rename this edge cutting edge angle okay I'm going to draw another one from shoulder to shoulder Just a little bit there, and I'm going to add it. I'm going to rename this one with behind the edge. Okay, and we're going to oh, rename edge. This is rename. Cutting edge angle. Okay. I'm going to draw a line from the point here, just a little bit away from it. Okay. And I'm going to draw it all the way down the center of the blade. And what that's going to give us, add, rename, is a measurement. Of the blade and image blade length and image. Okay. And we'll change these colors. I know I hadn't been doing this properly. And you probably noticed that I'm, I'm losing them as I go. Um, you can actually choose this to show all, and all of them will come back with their number labels or what order they're in. So I'm going to turn that off because I'd like to be able to see one at a time if I can help it. <laughs> um, it's kind of a little different function than um, the other software application. So what other angles do we want here? So maybe I want to measure the left side of the bevel and the right side of the bevel. Right. So I'm going to add a new one. I'm going to come over here to this shoulder that I can see visible. 
I'm going to click, make sure I'm on the line drawing tool. And I'm going to draw just there to the tip on the inside. Okay. And I'm going to rename this left bevel width. Somehow I messed that up a little bit. I'm going to change the properties of that from yellow to green. Okay. And we'll measure another length from the right shoulder to the tip. And if you see that's a little end, so I'm going to get the little pointy finger and move it into the inside of this angle. Okay. And I'm going to add that. And we're going to rename that right bevel width. Okay. And I'm going to change the color to that to um, magenta. Okay. So we have the expand this up so we can see what it says measurement of the length of the image that's the right bevel and uh, somehow I keep losing my left bevel let me see if I can fix this once and for all okay yeah, whatever reason it does not want to save that so what we'll do is we'll just delete that and we'll enter a new one left bevel click hold draw on the inside okay and we're going to add that to MSJ and it's going to be renamed to left bevel width okay and I'm going to change the properties to cyan okay so cyan is the left Magenta is the right. Yellow is the measurement of the length in the image. The width behind the edge. The cutting angle. And face angle. So if you want to see them all, click on the show all. And voila. There's your measurements uh, for the entire bevel of an knife edge. So in a recap, I showed you guys how to uh, set your scales with a known image. If you notice, the ruler is not even in this right now. And that's because we have zoomed out in image J. So we have to hit the zoom button minus on the keyboard and you'll zoom out. So that's the actual picture with the ruler in it with a known scale. So we, we first, we set our scale to this known distance and uh, we said it was one millimeters. And what it does is it measures the pixels between there and it determines that 175 pixels equals, in this photo, one millimeter. So if it's smaller or larger, it'll automatically calculate that, which is really, really cool. That's what's neat about this. And remember, this photo was taken with a uh, iPhone camera. So it wasn't even taken with a microscope. And what I'm finding is that I'm able to get a really clear image. And then once I have that image, I click on the magnifier. I can zoom in just as close digitally on that image just as necessary so we can take easy anyone can take easy measurements using the free ImageJ software and a standard camera of a knife bevel edge. I hope you all find this uh, very informative and helpful. If you have any questions just send me a message or add a post to this forum. Thank you.